Give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he will eat for the rest of his life. Teach a woman how to be happily married and everyone will eat, sleep, and be merry. It's time for Real Women, Their Ups and Downs, and Life Confessions here on the Happily Married Wives broadcast. Welcome, everyone, to the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast. This is Jessica Mosley. I should I say Mrs. Jessica Mosley. And I am truly honored to be here on this evening. It is a grand day, a glorious day. It has just been a day full of blessings and promises and just answered prayers. I am, this is my first time, uh, well, by myself on the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast. The first time you actually heard my voice is when we were all together um, just introducing ourselves and telling you a little bit um, what you can expect from the broadcast. You got to hear from um, the host, uh, what is it, Shamika and... Lori, not yeah, Lori and Nakia and um, Lisa White and Lisa Ward, and you got to hear from uh, Miss Louita Jean L. J. Payton, as she calls herself. Well, Holloway Payton is what she says, and then you got to hear from the lovely Leticia several times. But it's um, and there's more of a, and Nicole and myself, which is Jessica, and. Um, I'm trying to remember Juanica. I'm trying to remember everybody's name, but truly, so that that was the first time that you got to hear my voice, and and it was truly a blessing because you got to you know hear the different variety that you're going that you can expect from this radio broadcast. And here I am tonight, solo by myself. Um, going to talk to you a little bit um, just about um, what I have going on. Again, my name is Jessica Mosley, well, Mrs. Jessica Mosley, and I am a happily married wife. And um, that is not something that I just say easily, but I believe that happiness is a state of being, that it's a state of mind, um, and that you are in charge of your happiness. Again, let me repeat that. I believe that you personally are in charge of your happiness, not your husband, not what he does or what he doesn't do. I believe personally that happiness is a state of being and that it is a state of mind. Um, And we're going to talk a little bit about that more in the broadcast. Um, But before we go really into this broadcast, I definitely want to acknowledge the Lord um, And, you know, the Bible tells us in all of our ways to acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. I do not take it lightly that I'm on the airway with you. I know that this is truly the Lord's doing, that he gave the, um, that he planted the idea in my spirit, and that, you know, I was able, and then he made, the you know, the, the means for us to be here. So I just give God the glory for that. I know that it's no coincidence that we are here at this time. And as you know, the enemy is really fighting marriages. Um, And I will be sharing more things with you about how I know that that is so true. But the enemy is fighting marriages like never before. And it is our, the weapon that God has given us is that of prayer. And so later on in this broadcast, I have a guest, her name is LaToya, just going to come on and we're going to talk about the power of a praying wife and just how vital it is to be a woman whose posture is prayer. If you are a married woman and you're listening to this broadcast, you are a woman who has to be and uphold the posture of prayer. I'm going to talk to you today, even in my own personal segment, why prayer is so vital, why it is a necessity, and why Jesus said that man ought always to pray. It is our license to get heaven involved. It is just it is something, a Stormy or Martin came out with a book called The Power of a Praying Wife. And this this book was out probably 10 years prior to me even getting married. But now, and I have not read the book. I've seen the book, but I've never thoroughly read it. But I can tell you that prayer is a necessity 
in this hour and for your marriage. If you want your marriage to last, you must you must implement prayer. I also just wanted to um thank our lovely producer of the show, Letitia McDougal. Even when I'm on the Queen Esther Radio show, sometimes I fail to do that, but I want to acknowledge her because she always had, she believed in the vision. She allowed the vision to come forth, and I just thank God for her. Um, She is a jack of all trades and a master of them all. Some people can do a lot of things and don't know how, and just, you know, do one or two things well. But I've never seen her not put her hands to something and it not be done in the spirit of excellence. So for that, I'm truly grateful for her. Um, I want to um, stop right now and also thank each and every person who's tuned in right now from wherever you're at, uh, wherever even if you've downloaded it, you know, after this broadcast, you didn't get to hear it when it first, you know, comes on. I want to thank you for supporting this vision. Um, you, you know that you can tune in by going to www.happilymarriedwives.com. I want you to share um, with as many girlfriends of yours that are about to get married or currently married this radio broadcast. We have um, some dynamic hosts, people that are truly bringing you not just head knowledge but heart knowledge, and that is something that you're going to definitely need to have, you know, to help your marriage be be as successful as possible. And just a little bit about myself. Um, I am married. We have a total, we're a combined family. Um, Jason and I have been married. We're newlyweds, actually, and um, we have a combined family. We actually have five children, and we have one granddaughter. And I'm really excited about our family. It just seems like it's always something going on. Our son, Michael, just took the SPTs today. <laughs> so that's another, uh, you know, we'll soon have three grown children, and that's like I'm trying to wrap my mind around that, like, wow. They're actually becoming adults, so and prayerfully we're putting everything in them that they will need to be a um you know to be great adults and be productive citizens. I would like to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're gonna dive right into my segment on the power of a praying wife and i'm and I'm gonna lead it off. And then um, we'll come back with another segment with my guest, LaToya Fonville, who's going to pick that up. And we're going to just talk about the power of a praying wife and why prayer is such a necessity. I know that people think prayer is boring or, you know, I don't. sometimes people say, well, I talk to God, but he don't talk back to me. I want to talk about that in this segment, the power of a praying wife. So stay tuned, and when we come right back, we'll dump, we'll dive right into that uh, um, that subject, the power of prayer. Stay tuned. You're you're tuned into the Happily Married Wives Radio broadcast. Did you know that one in four people in America live with a mental illness? Do you have the communication skills to help out if one is in a crisis? What if it's your best friend, maybe your son or daughter? While crisis intervention isn't new. The book Crisis Intervention 101 is. It's easy to read, includes links to two videos, and it's under $10. Get your copy of Crisis Intervention 101 today on Amazon.com because we all need help in a crisis. Hi, I'm Rita Ricks, host of Spirit Journeys Radio, inviting you to our third annual Burn. On December 27th, from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m., we'll work together to determine what person, place, or thing you must leave behind in 2015. You'll write your choices on a piece of paper and drop them in the fire so that you can enter the new year brand new. The cost is $10. And you can register at www.speaktoyourspirit.com. See you on December 27th.
Are you frustrated, disappointed, discouraged with your life? Are you angry with God? What's holding you back from fulfilling your purpose? Are you struggling as a leader in ministry? Do you believe you have an end-time calling? If you answered yes to any of these questions, tune in to The Waymakers on MWHY Radio Network every other Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are here to support you. Join us to get the answers that will prepare the way of the Lord in your life. Well, welcome back to the Happily Married Wives Radio Broadcast. I am your host for this hour, Jessica Mosley, or should I say Mrs. Jessica Mosley. I am truly, um, I don't want to say excited because I know that um, I do another radio show and my husband says that I say the word excited too much. So I want to say excited. I am overjoyed to be here with you on this evening. <laughs> it is a pleasure to come to you um just in the spirit of excellence and in the spirit of his name to share with you. Um, I wanted to talk to you today, um, as I mentioned before we went to break, I'm going to be talking about the power of a praying wife. Later on, we're going to have um, Latoya Fonville join me um, for this. But I want to talk about why prayer is such a necessity in marriage. Again, why prayer is such a necessity in marriage. Um, I want to start off by saying that um, I am a newlywed. I've, this is my first marriage, and I will say that it has definitely been an experience. Um, but God has shown, has shown me some things and is showing me some things, and that is the power of prayer. I want to give you a little bit of background about me as far as this subject. Um, Ever since I was a little girl, I've always um, had some type of um, drawing, if I if I uh, if that's even a word to use when it comes to prayer. I, I was drawn to prayer when I was a little girl. I was afraid to go to. We lived in this house, um, and. For some reason, I would always be afraid to go to sleep. Sometimes, even as a little girl, um, there probably would be times that I didn't go to sleep until, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, just in fear. So one day, I um, I went to church, and I remember asking God, please show me how to go to be able to go to sleep. Now, mind you, I'm only 8, 9 years old at the time. And I remember the pastor at the time preached a sermon about prayer and why we must pray. And it's like ever since then I had this connection. Like I wanted to pray to God about everything. And I saw God move. I saw him answer prayers. So as I became an adult, I joined different prayer lines. I've ran different prayer lines. I've even had my, you know, God allowed me to orchestrate different prayer lines. I've had people call in from all over the country, even celebrities to call in, people that I didn't even know were celebrities. They heard about the prayer line, word of mouth, just things that God would do and how he would move, you know, and use me to help people learn how to pray. Well, no different than that, and I think that um, even the more so because the enemy fights marriage so strongly because two are becoming one. The one thing the enemy cannot stand is unity. He cannot stand unity because he knows that there is power in unity, and he also knows that there is power in prayer. Some of you may be saying, well, I don't think that prayer is... um, you know, that it's really all that, that is boring, um, you know, because even if you go to churches now, they don't have prayer meetings like they used to, you know, because it's like they've taken away prayer, the one thing that is the lifeline. Well, Jessica, why would you say prayer is so important? And why would you say it's so powerful? Let's just look at some examples in the scripture. Um, even with, um, I remember that it was Elijah who prayed in, you know, call down fire. Then you have 
Then you have, um, oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. I just got a little bit distracted. I'm sorry. There are so many different examples of prayer throughout the scripture and how God answered. Elijah, when he was going up against the false prophets, he prayed, and God answered by fire. You have when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane or even when, um, first of all, the scripture even tells us that man ought always to pray and not faint. God promises us that if we call unto him, he would answer us and that he would show us great and mighty things which we know not. Why is prayer such a vitality in marriage? And I'm learning this, and I know I still have some more lessons to learn, that there's going to be things about your spouse that God is going to reveal to you. And I'm learning that, and I have learned that God doesn't, necessarily want you to have to ad- to address it with your husband or automatic. So say, for instance, God reveals to you that your husband has been, that your husband has been unfaithful. Of course, we know that as women, we're going to, we're going to like spin out, go crazy. Like, well, how could you do this to me? What if God is showing you that so that he, so that you can bring that problem to him in prayer? Or what if God is showing you one of your husband's weaknesses or flaws so that you can bring that thing to him in prayer and watch him do it? Because there can be a time, and I can and I can attest to this to myself, that God may show you something and he wants you to bring it to prayer, not so that you can hold something over your husband's head, but because now you are covering him through prayer. You know, you're you're covering, your words have power. And now you're saying, hey, I'm going to fight for my husband because he's weak in this area. The Bible says that when you have been converted, go and strengthen your brethren. There may be some things that he may be struggling with that God has delivered you from. And, and I can attest to that. I've dealt with that in my own marriage. So it's not so much that he wants you to beat up your husband or to go talking to him with your mama and your uh, siblings or your cousins or your friends. God wants you to bring that thing in prayer and watch him work. Because a lot of times we try to fix things on our, you know, things, you know, fix things um, ourselves, women, and we're not God. We're not his. Why not bring that problem to the person who knows every single thing about you? Why not do that? Why not bring that problem to God in prayer? Um, I, As time goes on and as I'm able to release some things about my own suffering in my own marriage, I want to really help you as much as possible because I'm learning that the biggest battles are fought on your knees. I'll say that again. The biggest battles in your marriage will be fought on your knees, not with your words, because sometimes our words can do more damage than they can do good when you're addressing situations that have to be addressed, but God has a means and a ways of having that situation addressed. I am looking to see just how, I got some prayers right now that I've been praying. God will give you strategic ways to pray concerning some situations in your marriage. Say, for instance, your husband isn't good with money. Say, for instance, your husband, um, like I said, may be having a problem, you know, with uh, infidelity. And, and And, you know, it doesn't always have to be a physical thing. It could be an emotional cheating, you know. It could be, um you know, him just having conversations with women and you don't want that or just different things. I am here to tell you that God can turn that thing around. And what it, and it may not be in your timing. That's another thing that I've had to learn. A lot of times we want these microwave answers and God is saying, hey, I'm going to do this in my timing and in my way because nine times out of ten, God is not just going to be working something out of your husband, but he's going to be working something in you as well. And I've learned that and have had to learn that lesson. I want to say the hard way. I want to say the hard way. And if I don't know, and you may ask, why is, Jessica, why are you talking about prayer? 
I wanted to bring up the um, topic of prayer because I feel like a lot of marriages are dying without it. I believe that a family that prays together stays together. And that's one thing that I um, that I want to do because the Bible tells us in all of our ways, if we would acknowledge him, he would direct our paths. So here we are again um, in your marriage. There are some things that may have been said or done, and you're trying to figure out how can how do we get here? How can we get back to the place that we once were? There's a song that says the potter wants to put you back together again. Do you believe that? Do you believe that God wants to put your marriage back together? Do you believe that you can have a marriage um, you and you can have a love for your husband so intense so strong as if you just first met him, I'm telling you that it can be done in prayer. I'm telling you that there is no situation that you can get in that God cannot bring you out of. I am telling you through prayer, you and your husband can have the best relationship. Well, you, Jessica, you may be saying, Jessica, my marriage is irreparable. I just don't see it coming back together. I, I'm telling you that through prayer, I don't care how dead your situation is. I am here to tell you that God can turn that thing around, and it's going to be done through prayer. I would advise every woman who is married to have at least one friend that can get a prayer through. Have at least one friend that when you cannot pray, they can pray you through. Because I'm telling you, I'm even today, I am here off of prayer. Me even talking in the strength and the power that I'm coming to you in, I'm doing it off of prayer. Nothing else. Your strength is in prayer. Your wisdom is going to come through prayer. Your knowledge is going to come through prayer. Everything you need is going to come through prayer. And also I will say this. Anything you get through prayer, can't no devil in hell take it. I'll repeat it. If you want something, get it through prayer. Prayer is your legal right. If you get it legally and that's through prayer, can, can't nothing come and take that thing away. As I stated to you, going into this next segment, we're going to be talking with Latoya Fonville, and she was God sent in my life for such a time as this. Um, I was going through something quite difficult. I've never physically even laid eyes on Latoya, but God sent her. God sent her to be my prayer partner during a very difficult time in my life. And I just think we were on the same prayer team, um, but we had never met because this prayer team is actually, um, there. we're all in different places. But God sent her to be a friend to me and to help bring me through some of the most difficult times in my life. And that's what I'm saying. When you can't carry yourself, make sure you have a friend that can carry you through in the prayer. That's just how powerful it is. I'm telling you, I'm sitting up here. I can barely keep myself because I'm telling you, this. I'm, I'm, I've been on a on a roll with this prayer thing, and and even in the book that I have coming out uh, with some more women, um, I'm going to talk about the power of a praying wife and why it is a necessity during this time. What I want to do quickly is go to a commercial break, and when we come back, you're going to hear myself and Latoya Fonville as we dump, as we dive into um, the, the, uh, the power of a praying wife and why you, if you want to have a successful marriage, have to implement implore um, prayer into your marriage. If you want to see your marriage go to that next level, you must implement prayer. My name is Jessica Mosley, Mrs. Jessica Mosley. That's what qualifies me to be a host of this show is to be a married woman. And I want to talk to you a little bit more 
about the power of a praying wife. Wow, I feel like a little girl in a candy store because I'm telling you, even before we get off this um, airwaves tonight, I am going to pray for each married. I'm going to pray over the airwaves, um, you know, for the married women, the women of God. And even if you're not a Christian, because I do want to make that very clear, I'm praying for all marriages because, like I said, there is definitely an attack on marriages right now. There's definitely an attack on marriages. Again, I'm Jessica Mosley. You're tuned into the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast on the May We Help You radio network. Stay tuned. We will be right back. In a fast-paced world, getting your message heard everywhere can still be a challenge if you're not connecting to your target audience. Allow MWHY Radio to assist you in getting your message heard on social media, video, digital magazines, on apps, and on our broadcast network. MWHY Radio's broadcast listeners Tune in online through 10 terrestrial stations on iHeartRadio and during live events. Visit our Fiverr page for special offers throughout the summer to assist you in jumpstarting your advertising needs. That's www.fiverr.com forward slash M-W-H-Y radio. F-I-V-E-R-R dot com forward slash M-W-H-Y radio. If you're the parent of a child with behavioral challenges that has been suspended, expelled, or just not able to make it in a traditional school setting, there is an alternative. Call the Metropolitan Day School today. Licensed and accredited grades K-12, through call 804-321-2595. Financial assistance and after-school programs are available. Let's turn this school year around right now at the Metropolitan Day School where Eagles soar. Call Ms. Thomas today, 804-321-2595. This is Benita of Off the Vine with Benita and Tarasina. Join us every Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the May We Help You Radio Network. Our show is simple. It is about wine and wine is fun. Listen in and laugh with us. You'll never know. You just may learn something too. So grab your glass. You know that's the rule. And tune in for a most exciting hour. Hey, we're just two girls at work just waiting to wind up. Listen in on Fridays at 3 o'clock right here on the Maybe Help You Radio Network. Off the Vine with Anita and Tarasina. Something to whine about. Well, welcome back, everyone, to the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast. I'm your host for the hour, Mrs. Jessica Mosley. Woohoo! It's an exciting time. Again, before we went to break, I told you that we were going to be discussing um, the – well, even with my last um, segment, um, we're talking today about the power of a praying wife. And that's why I invited our very special guest, LaToya Fonville, to be with us on tonight. LaToya, you're on the air with us. How are you? I am incredible. How are you tonight, Jessica? Oh, my gosh. You know what? <laughs> I'm loving your energy. She said, I am incredible, and I am incredible as well, and I believe that whatever you put behind the word I am, that's what you are because we know the words I am is so powerful. Well, welcome to the Happily Merry Wives radio broadcast. I'm just happy to have you here. How have you been? Um, I have been great. I have been truly tremendous, truly blessed. Um, And I'm definitely excited about this opportunity to really share tonight um, my experience as a happily married wife. (laughs) So definitely excited. (laughs) Well, I'm excited as well because, um, you know, we, we, we actually met really, I was telling the audience before um, we went to our last, we went to commercial break last, I said, you know, I met her through, we're on the same prayer team, and I've never physically laid eyes on you, but God sent you to pray with me during a very difficult time. Um, and it's, it's something how God does that because you would think that you and I have been knowing each other forever, that we were like best girlfriends. <laughs> We've never that even physically met. That is true. But you know what's beautiful about God is that you know, we, we are all connected in the spirit, you know, and so mm-hmm. although physically we have met, we may not have physically met in the natural 
our spirit man is yoked in the spirit. Yes. And so Come that's on. the beautiful thing about the kingdom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? I uh, Well, first of all, before we get into this topic about the power of a praying wife, let's talk a little bit about who Latoya Fonville is. Who is she in a nutshell? Well, um, I'm a preacher. I'm a, actually an ordained minister. I, uh, wow, I didn't my know that. And I, yes. Uh, my husband and I are entrepreneurs. We own multiple businesses. I am um, actually in the process of spearheading um, my coaching business. And um, we are just, we're, of course, we're believers. That's the first thing, believers in Christ. And um, I'm just this little island girl from the smallest island in the world, St. Martin. And um, just here in the U.S. on on a divine assignment, and um, definitely, um, I love I love my, my 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 life as a married woman. I I really enjoy you know helping people. That's something that's a passion for me, and um, I I can honestly say that marriage is is a ministry that kind of the Lord kind of dropped on my lap. It's something you know because I found myself in a place where I've counseled a lot of married wives. And um, it's something that I didn't go into myself lightly. You know, it was a desire, but I, but before I even got married, I had to be content and complacent in, in, my, in my singleness. So, you know, I, I, can, I can go, I can speak volumes about marriage, but in a nutshell, that's who I am. You know, I'm a I'm a preacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a transformational speaker. Um, I coach people who are looking to start their own businesses, and um, that's that's Latoya. Latoya, and you know it's so crazy because a lot. Listen, you guys, I told this person. Latoya, do you know my middle name was Latoya? She said, no, Jessica, I never knew that. So, I mean, <laughs> God hooked me up with my own self. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm Jessica Latoya, and she's Latoya. So God hooked me up with my own self. I thought that was kind of interesting and funny. <laughs> but I'm so grateful for you, Latoya, in a way that I can't even verbally express. I am Amen. I am truly grateful for you. You know, I want to jump right into this topic, the power of a praying wife. I was telling them a little bit prior to you coming on that, you know, what prayer has meant to me and that I believe that it is the heartbeat for for marriage. Absolutely. I believe that, that prayer is the heartbeat. For marriage, and you know what? I think that's a tweetable right there. Prayer is the heartbeat of a marriage. Why do you say absolutely with so much tenacity? Because uh, the Bible says that uh, the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. And when okay. they use the term man, not is not just saying man for male, but the prayers of a righteous woman, it really avails, it supersedes. Prayer is the foundation to which the the, the 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 growth of your marriage, the survival of your marriage, will will, will rest mm-hmm. upon. Without prayer, you won't be able to 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 make it through the trials. You won't be able to make it through the the warfare that comes your way because we have to understand that there is an attack on marriage. The enemy yes. hates yes. marriage, and so Why if is you that, are not though? praying. Why? Why do you the think Bible, the men, mm-hmm. Why? Well, the first, the first, mm-hmm. one of the first um, the commandments that the Lord released in Genesis one says to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and subdue. That was our first assignment. The first ministry that was ever instituted was the the, the ministry of marriage. That was the first mm-hmm. church. And so, if, wow. if we are not multiplying, if we're not reproducing righteous seed in the earth. Then, then the kingdom cannot be enhanced in the earth. And so the enemy attacks marriage because he doesn't want more kingdom citizens to be birthed into the earth realm. He attacks marriage because if you have a house that is divided, it, it, it mm-hmm. finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor. See, when, when a man gets married to a, a, a praying wife, his life mm-hmm. is expert 
exponentially enhanced. And and, and, Jesus. and, and, and he, he begins to, to things start to Girl. happen when she intercedes for him. See, hey, the woman Shabbat. is the helpmate. Woo! And so it is our assignment, it is our <laughs> ministry to pray to intercede for the breakthrough, to water the seed that God has given that male. And so if you are not a praying yeah. wife, your, your, your home is, is susceptible to attack. Your, your, the enemy okay. will come in and, and, and try to cause chaos in your home. And so that's why prayer is, is not only the fundamental, but it is the foundation to a successful and healthy marriage. Wow. You know, I I personally believe in my heart, and you correct me if I'm wrong, that through the prayers of the wife, there are certain things that the husband would never have, get, be exposed to. I believe that the prayer of the wife is really the favor for the man, for the husband. I believe that with my whole heart. I believe that there are some things that would never take place in that man's life if if he did not have a praying wife. Why do you think that prayer is fought so hard? And what I mean by that is that, you know, it's like almost today, like people try to water it down. Like, oh, you know, we got prayer meeting. Oh, well, girl, I ain't, well, let me know what kind of prayer meeting over. You know, it's almost like it's non-existent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the the reason why prayer is attacked is because it's prayer is a weapon of warfare that God has given us. God has mm-hmm. given us this weapon to fight against the enemy. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh or blood, but against principalities and powers. And mm-hmm. the weapon that we have is our words. The Bible says when you decree a thing, it shall be established. And so Jeez. when a woman prays, when she intercedes for her household, um, she, what she, in, in the realm of the spirit, she's acting as that guard to protect. And, and, and actually, let me just brief before, you, before I even go there, when God created a woman, man was asleep. He had to put man to sleep in order to create the woman. And so mm-hmm. there's some, there's, there's things that, that that the woman will see that the man will never see. A, a woman is more discerning. Not to say that men are Jesus. not. But women are women are discerning. <laughs> and so in the spirit, it, the, so a, a, a praying wife can 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 prevent a man from experiencing certain things because a woman that 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 is an intercessor that intercedes for her home, the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. will give her revelation and insight right. on things. That that the enemy that that the enemy may try to do to cause chaos or disruption in your household, because the enemy is mm-hmm. on constant attack. He's on constant watch. Anything that he can do, he will try to do to destroy that marriage. And so that's Jesus. why prayer is so significant, and it will it it will back to what you were saying. It it it. A, a praying a praying wife will actually stop, you know, some of the some of the traps and the snares that the enemy may, may set to derail that household. That's right. You know what? I'm I am I am convinced more and more that, like I said, I believe that marriage is the that you know prayer is the heartbeat for marriage. I believe that prayer is. The you know how they have those um the, they talk about a different, um you know how they talk about the different uh, you know how they talk about we had we saved our best missile for last like they have like these uh, weapons of mass destruction you know yeah they're fighting like these enemies like how you know the United States was when we had to fight against different um. Uh, yeah, when they had when we had to fight against different you know countries, and they had these these they talk about how America has these different um, bombs and stuff that can tear up a whole country. I believe that's what prayer is. I believe prayer is the highest form of mass destruction in the spirit. Absolutely. Because anytime you could be in America and you can affect change over in Africa through your prayers, 
I believe in my heart that prayer is a weapon of mass destruction. I not only believe it, I, I know that it is. Because you know what I just, <laughs> one day I'm going to be released and I'm going to really share my testimony, but I've seen what prayer can do. I'm living today um, off of prayers because yes. you and I are both recipients of somebody's prayers. Somebody Absolutely. prayed for us, had us on their mind. You know, as the songwriter say, took a little time and prayed for me. So I'm <laughs> just, right. I'm, hey, it, it, I live off of it today. I know that my grandma and them was praying for me. That's and so right. I, I just to see what prayer does. And, you know, even before we end our segment, LaToya, even if we equip fasting with it, now you've taken over a whole world. I believe oh, that a, not just a praying woman but a fasting woman, a prayer, a woman who is in constant seeking of the Lord because um, you cannot just pray for your husband, your family one day and expect things to change. It's a constant thing. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Um, actually, something you said about the atomic bomb that I really want to add real quick about prayer is that if, to take prayer to the next level is when you pray in tongues. Because like I said before in the Bible, it says when you decree a thing, it shall be established. And God's sure. word is released when man utters the word of God and the will of God into the earth realm, it becomes law. It is established. And so when you pray in tongues as a praying wife, when you sometimes we may be going through some things or our husband may be going through some things and we do not know how to pray. But the beautiful thing is God has given us the gift of tongues, which is the highest form of prayer where you can actually intercede in a language that is unknown to the enemy, where you are declaring the perfect will of God into the earth realm. And, and and because you are declaring it, because the authority that God has given us, it is being established. So to, to well, let me ask you the this. highest, yes. Okay, let me interrupt you. Let me interrupt you. Now, what is tongues? For those that may be listening that have never heard of tongues, what is tongues? Tongues is a supernatural language that that the, that is given to us by the Holy Spirit. And so when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you receive God and you, and, you, and you accept him as your Savior, one of the gifts that you get is the ability to speak in a language that is unknown to man. Now, this language is not taught. Someone can't teach it to you. It's a supernatural experience. And it is, it is a weapon of warfare that God has given us against the enemy. I think it's the most powerful weapon of warfare that we have against the enemy. Mhm. Mhm. Wow, Latoya. You came here today and dropped the how they sound that song say, You dropped the bomb on me. <laughs> Baby. Whoa, you whoa. came here Yeah, <laughs> you dropped the bomb, you know, 'cause I'm so excited. Because you know what, I know that I'm gonna be picking this um topic up a lot because I think that a lot of times, you know, the Cinderella story is such a lie. Yeah. And it sends, and you know, they, they uh, drill that in our spirits as little girls, you know, and that's not how it is. But I do believe that you can have a happily ever after every day with God in your marriage. And that's why um, I know Dr. Cindy Trim has a prayer to um, command your morning. Um, it is definitely a, a prayer of warfare because we are definitely in a warfare time. Um, before you, before um, I come back and close the show, what I would like for you to do is to say a prayer for marriages before you leave off the air today. I want you to pray for the women of God, um, just for marriages in general, and that God will birth, if they don't already have a prayer life, but that God would birth prayer into their, you know, because the Bible says, um, he who hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. And that God yeah. would give them a thirst. Hallelujah. That he would give yeah. them a thirst for prayer for the things of God as we begin to seek the Lord. Because, you know, I'm, I, you know, I, 
I can just feel it in my, I feel a calling, a, a pulling um, into this thing for prayer. I really do. I'm actually going to be doing I'm, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to be doing a book on prayer and why it's so vital, especially in these last days. Because we are living in the last days. A lot of people don't believe that. They're looking for new businesses and new houses and cars and lands. And I'm not saying that none of that is, you know, bad. But you better wear this world like a loose garment because we are truly, I believe, we're on the brink of the coming of the Lord. But would you please say a prayer for marriages on this evening for the for the broadcast, you know, Absolutely. and just pray. Pray for that wife that may be struggling with prayer, doesn't think that God hears her. But lead us in prayer, please. Okay. Glorious and everlasting Master, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, Lord, we just come before you, oh God, just to glorify you. Father God, we worship you. We adore you. We shabak your holy name. We reverence your glorious throne, oh God. Father God, right now we welcome you over the airways, oh God. Father God, we send a word into every home, Father God, every woman and man that may be listening in on this this broadcast today, Father God. God. And Father God, we decree and declare that your kingdom come and your will be established in the lives of everyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every woman, Father God, on this line, Father God, every married woman, every woman that desires to be married, oh God, happily married, Father God. And Father God, we pray that your will be done in their lives. Father God, I pray, Father God, for any woman who feels as if she does not have a prayer life, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will teach her how to pray. Father God, I pray that you will download your word in her spirit, oh God. I pray, Father God, that you will send mentors to help and to guide her, oh God. In the name of Jesus, for any woman on this line, Father God, who is struggling in their marriage, Lord God, we come against every plot, every plan, every every assignment of the enemy against their against her marriage in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we decree and declare that your will shall be done. Father God, for we know that it is your will for this marriage to survive. And so we come against divorce, oh God. We destroy every plan of the enemy now against that marriage in the name of Jesus. Father God, touch the heart of husbands, oh God. Touch the heart of their husbands, oh God. Turn that turn around, Father God, that marriage which may be struggling or on the brink of divorce, oh God. Step uh. in, oh God, like only you can, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray, oh God, that your kingdom come and your will be done in the lives of your women, oh God. Father God, I pray that you will rise up intercessors, praying wives, oh God, women who will yes. intercede for their homes, Hallelujah. Oh God, women that who will cover their husbands, oh God. Women who yes, will not be afraid to stand on the front lines, oh God, and confront the enemy, oh God. But Father God, we thank you for the authority that you have given us, oh God. We thank you, Father God, for giving us 2020 vision in the realm of the spirit. We thank you, Jeez. Father God, that even in the midst of the trial that you are giving us a spirit of praise, oh God. But we know, oh God, that praise confuses the enemy. And so, Father God, we thank you for turning around situations that may not look right. We thank you, Father God, for healing and broken hearts, oh God. We yes, thank you Lord. for even breaking stubborn spirits, oh God. We thank you for a deliverance the deliverance to take place over the airways today. Father God, we lift up every marriage, every household, Father God, and we declare that your blessings will be released. We declare that the passion that was once that was once lost will be reunited, oh God. We declare that communication lines will be opened, oh God. Father God, we come against any tantalizing spirits, oh God, that may try to cause division in the home, oh God. Father God, any adulterous spirit, oh God, any spirit that is illegally operating, Father God, in these yeah. homes, oh God, we come against it now in the name of Jesus. And tonight, Lord, we release your love. We release your passion. We release your joy. We release your unity, oh God. 
And we release, Father God, an army of praying women, women who will cover their homes, yes. cover their households, cover their husbands, cover their children, oh God, because you have given us as, as, as women dunamis power. And so, Father God, we stand in our authority. We stand in the power that you have given us, oh God. And, Father God, we just glorify you and we give you all the glory mm-hmm. and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Well, I tell you, everyone, Latoya Fonville has come and just burnt up the, you know, the lines on this evening. Latoya, how can the people reach you if they want to reach you outside of this broadcast? You can reach me on Twitter at Latoya Fonville, or you can reach me on email at latoyafonville at gmail.com. God is truly good. Thank you so much for being on the airwaves with us on tonight. What I would thank like you, to do, no, thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What Amen. I want to do is um, um, go quickly to a commercial break. And when I come back, I'm going to be wrapping everything up and just telling you how you can stay, you know, connect with me a little bit further. My God, you prayed on tonight. Hold on Amen. one moment, please. Hi, this is Simone Bow of Life Success Principles in Nassau, Bahamas. And I listen to the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show on iHeartRadio. And you should, too. Hi, this is Sylvester Green of Building United Communities here in London, England. And I listen to the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show on iHeartRadio. And you should, too. If you were designing the perfect dating site, what would you include? A private voice or video chat room? A private photo gallery and profile area? How about matches based on similar interests? And to keep it special, you could add profile blocking, no third-party intervention, spam protection, and even monthly drawings for great prizes. And more! That's exactly what you'll find at milesapart.dating. Visit milesapart.dating today and get a free one-year membership while they last. That's milesapart.dating. Brought to you by... On the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on May We Help You Radio Network. So on the May We Help You Radio Network. MWHY Radio Network. May We Help You Radio. On the May We Help You Radio Network. Only on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network, the network that helps you. Well, welcome back to the Happily Married Wives Radio Broadcast. This was truly a blessed, blessed, blessed um, segment on tonight. I mean, which we, Latoya was here, and she got to talking about the power of a praying wife. Women, you are dangerous when you pray. You hear me? I'll say it again. You don't have to get on the phones with your mamas, your your gossiping cousins and prayer partners. You can you can go to God in prayer for yourself about your marriage and watch God change things. There's a song that says, I pray for you, you pray for me and watch God change things. Watch God change it's by um Bishop Paul Morton and Kurt Carr. You pray for me, I pray for you, and watch God change things. I'm watching God do some things. You hear me? He does his best work um, in the um, in the most impossible situations. Hallelujah! Again, my name is Jessica Mosley. I'm the ho- I was the host for this hour for the Happily Married Wives Radio broadcast. Please check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Um, come to our site, www.happilymarriedwives.com. Again, that is happilymarriedwives.com. We got some exciting things going on. Um, with the, we have a blog that is changed every week. You can get, you get, um, some of the most inspirational and just downright bare, honest truth blogs. 
one that just that just came up was Infidelity Didn't Win by Nicole Mason. You need to check out the blog on the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast. Did you hear me? You need to check out our blog. Uh, we have I have a T-shirt collection that you can get. If you come onto the site, you can check that out. And also we have our upcoming book, Diary Confessions of a Happily Married Wife, that's going to be coming out in 2016. I don't know about you, but I'm looking for God to do some some amazing things in 2016. I keep telling people that 2016 is the year of answered prayer. Let me say that one more time. 2016 is the year of answered prayers. Whatever you've been praying for in 2015, expect God to manifest it in 2016. I'm telling you. I I was sitting down talking. Oh, I get tongue twisted talking about it. That's just how excited I am. But you watch God do it. Watch God do it. And, you know, it's time for us to go ahead and end this show. But I do want you to know that there is no situation that you can get in that God cannot bring you out of. I'll say that one more time. There is no situation that you can get in that God can't bring you out of. Again, thank you for tuning in to the Happily Married Wives radio broadcast on the beautiful station, on the beautiful network, the May We Help You radio network. I love you and God bless. Until next time, thank you. Well, wasn't that another amazing episode of the Happily Married Wives broadcast? We got to be poured into by none other than Mrs. Jessica Mosley. Her special guest, Latoya Fonville, gave us a great thought of prayer for our marriages. Remember to tune in next week at 7 p.m. on Monday and let us know what you thought about this show. Visit www. Dot happily married wives dot com. Follow us on Facebook at Happily Married Wife and on Twitter at Happily Married W. Until next week, remember this is the holiday season. Keep your marriage happy.